Where's GRFC streams? What? Oh, right here. What? Yeah, we gotta wait like 20 minutes for everything to actually say wrong. <laughs> right. There was a network error. Okay, well then fucking refresh it then. There we go, and I'm glad that it's muted. I still okay. It's it still says it's a network error. <laughs> yeah, because uh, Twitch takes like yeah. three minutes to set everything up. Okay, well now I see the fucking uh, video game version of uh, Nixon in his new COD game. That should be interesting. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, you know what, guys? How about you just uh. Yeah, you smuggle in some drugs and you do this to help your country. Sure. So anyways. So, uh, so anyways, <laughs> uh, why is it that on this version I can't see the chat? Version of what? Of, uh, Twitch. Uh, well, I think that's because you're going through, like, the little appear thing instead of, like, the full-on thing. Uh, so maybe, I don't think full screen's gonna work. Nope, I'm in you, I'm in you beer mode. So you would have to um, put it on your second screen because it's just like your Google Chrome where you would have to have the thing. I know. I, I have it. I have it on my second screen. Okay. You know what? You know when we figure this out, guys. Welcome. God, this <laughs> intro sucks. <laughs> welcome to the spookiest peer review. Of all time. Ain't nobody watch as you, this anyways, and you know it. As you can tell, I have been uh, turned into a vampire for this pay-per-view. <laughs> if you see the little uh, the little vampire character in the corner of your screen, uh, that's not that's not an overlay. It's something that we're actually doing, which uh, we're we're testing to see how this how this goes. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, you know, you're probably thinking to yourself, wow, dude, how are you running a Halloween show when Halloween's already over? Well, that's what a normie would think. <laughs> and you know what? There is a lot of people in the top tier Tuesday roster, especially Zach Roper, that celebrate Halloween every day. So, you know what they say? Freaks come out at night. The I mean, freaks come out at night. Freaks come out at night. I mean, that's for true. Tuesday is going to be something. Yep. Tuesday is definitely going to be something. All right, well, we're live. I better see the same energy I saw last night when I was at the party and I saw people go crazy on the Monday stream. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. The first match we got is the Tracy Smothers... Tribute Memorial Deathmatch Battle Royal yeah, you're for the Deathmatch Championship. Tracy. Well, you know what they, what he said. In this match, everybody dies. That's pretty much what this match is. It's in all honesty. Everybody dies or Fire Pro dies. One of the two will happen no matter what. One of the two. Hold on. Let me just open uh, Twitch on my phone just in case. Here we go with the old Hebert setup. Yep. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know if any of y'all caught the participants in this match. The current champ right now is, uh, Sid Barrett. Sid Barrett. We got, so, Jeez. we have, uh, Malachi Hades, we got Babe Ruth, who just went through the light tube. We got Giants Balls, which is who Sid Barrett is facing right now. We got the one, the only, the Tracy Smothers fan himself, Edgar Rossi, in this match. Yeah, but six or seven Italians really carrying that tribute over us. Right? <laughs> right, we got Oz. We got Griffin. Uh, we got Psycho. Am I missing anyone? Or is that is that it? I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so, uh... 
tripping because everyone's getting critical, probably. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's 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 one of the that's how this match works. Uh, you can win in one of several ways, either pinfall. I believe there isn't any submissions. There right? is. There is submissions. There is. Okay, the so pinfall submission, or you fucking kill your opponent. Yep. Because if we can't do it better, then everybody dies. So they might want to team up on the biggest competitors while they still can. Right. Like, uh, the, the man who's going to be starring in the, uh... With the Space Jam remake? The, the Space Jam sequel. <laughs> uh, Giant balls. What? Seven ten. Seven ten piece of trash. So if I don't commentate that much on this match, it's simply because I can't follow what's going on. Oh yeah, everyone's all over the place. I mean, we're, yeah. we're waiting for some criticals to have those four matches in one. Oh yeah. So, uh, let me just ask, how was your Halloween? Because, uh, mine was, uh, interesting, to say the least. I didn't even celebrate, really. Oh, you piece of trash! <laughs> I don't go. See, I've, I've I've got the excuse of celebrating every day because I'm goth, but yeah. like <laughs> normally, 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 like you, you always gotta go like all out for it. <laughs> yeah. I even like I, I even tweeted on uh, I went on Twitter yesterday and I was like, oh yeah, I can't wait to celebrate Halloween and then go back to being the goth freak tomorrow <laughs> that I normally am. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. The one night I, you get a get a jail free card. Pretty much. For, for one night, I, I am quote unquote normal. <laughs> in the eyes of society. Right. We live in a society where they want to do a all female Ghostbusters or an all female Avengers when there wasn't even an all men's Avengers. <laughs> yeah, like, what kind of, I read that bullshit, and I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? There hasn't even been an all-male Avengers. You've had Black Widow in the movies. I mean, they've had a mix. I don't get what the big deal is. It's because they did that pander scene in Endgame. I know you've never seen Endgame, but they did that one cringy scene, and after that, I'm like, I'm like, nope, not interested. <laughs> Not, not if you're gonna handle it that way, and I think... Oh, I thought Sid Barrett was out. Nah, has there even... Saying. Has there even been any eliminations while I've been bullshitting? No. Not yet. Yeah. yeah, we're just waiting on that one elimination that's gonna pretty much do a domino effect. I think Ross is getting that first elimination. Yeah, well, Giant Balls is just trying to take the faint paint off Malachi <laughs> Hades. Speaking of which, I went out as uh, the Crow yesterday when I had... When I went to the Halloween party, that's why I, uh, I, originally I was going to do the pay review yesterday to coincide with Monday, but then I was like, well, I don't know when they're going live, and plus, now that I've gotten invited to this party, I don't want to rush this. Oh, Ruthless is oh, holy, Babe Ruthless, the first one eliminated via murder. <laughs> I my back. I broke my back. <laughs> what do you mean? Spinal tap. My back is broken. <laughs> oh, you, you mean like there's there's a tear? Spinal. <laughs> oh, there was a two. There was a two count. Not like so, the two counts are gonna do much in this thing. Yeah, I'm just saying. You know, we almost had an elimination that way though. Nakai Hayes trying to quickly eliminate Oz. Oh. Well, there went my head. Yeah, speaking of which... Jeez. See, yeah, so, it's like, it was... Pretty much, curse on him. Right. It was me, and it was a bunch of, uh... Co-workers of mine that, like, I really messed with. Uh, that was at the party. So it was, like, maybe... 10 to 12 people, max. We all kept our distance. Uh, I had my sad hoodie on. Because, uh, we were outside at the campfire and then when, when the campfire died it was, was like all right well time to go inside yeah but <laughs> like, oh, campfire song. 
I actually, like, we were tossing the phone around and I actually put that on the playlist, but it never played. I'm like, yeah. damn. Our C A M P F I S O N G song. And Sid Barrett's probably dead. Oh, God. We'll get Rossi then. Yeah, yo, Rossi eliminates the champ. We are guaranteed a new champion tonight. Um, so is he gonna let it go? Because I think he's kind of a gabagoo. There he goes. Someone nah, slapped some sense into him. Nah, that, that, was, that was his strategy. <laughs> <laughs> just pretend he doesn't know the rules. <laughs> oh, there went Griffin. This. I'm gonna do this until I get my final two. Gabagool, motherfucker! <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like I hear the audio before I see it on yeah, my on my feet. If that makes any sense. That's how it works usually. Yeah, well, now it's down to three. And Yurasi, giant balls, yeah, and Psycho. They, what they may want to team up. They might want to team up against Giant Balls or maybe the greater <laughs> threat, Agiraki. Yeah, he's, he's oh dead. god! Agiraki tried to pay tribute to Tracy Smothers, and in the end, he failed. But hey, he might have a chance for greatness if uh, the main event, if one of the uh, one of the simulations. Happens. I mean, I guess he has a chance for greatness, but he could have had a double monopoly right there. Oh, well, there right. went Psycho. Play that Space Jam! <laughs> <laughs> ah, hell yeah! Or as Commander Shark would say, Oh, show, yes! Hell yeah. That's a jam right there. 75% giant balls is your new deathmatch champion. Congratulations, you finally got the title off that piece of trash, Sid Barrett. <laughs> now you a new piece of trash. Yeah, well this piece of trash is uh he can he can coordinate. He has that he has a chance of losing, unlike that other guy where <laughs> I feel like he either bought off the referees, or he was uh, uh doing something to enhance his his performance. <laughs> All right, let's see. How are we? How are we doing, Chet? Anyone? Anyone saying anything? Shooterman as uh -oh. Shooterman is, but I guess he didn't read the card. Yeah, when I tag everyone, you guys gotta like look at the card and make sure you're on it. Yeah, cause you're in like all the open challenges lately. Yeah. All right. So, how much you want to bet that we won't hear any of the uh, PVP themes tonight? Um, <laughs> how much? How much you want to bet, Chat? Seems like a strong possibility. Cause, cause we got we got two Perfect. themes. <laughs> we got two themes, and I bet you not one of them is playing. Maybe, maybe we'll play. At the end, on the last match or whatever, but that's pretty much it. I feel like, because knowing how, uh, knowing how Fire Pro is, and when we had to like, <laughs> how many clips did I have to do before I finally like got to like forty? Yeah, to to get to the song where we were testing the volume. Jeez. It's like that's ridiculous. Well, speaking of greatness, Iron Manzi, the greatest performer of all <laughs> time. One of the greatest Twitch streamers besides uh, ZachAttack2995. Follow him at uh, twitch.tv slash ZachAttack2995. Uh, he, uh, he, he, he beat Ferguson Gray. He beat him the night after the last pay review to earn this spot. To earn this shot. And you know what? I've said it repeatedly. If Iron Man Z doesn't win tonight, it will be the biggest, the biggest controversy, the biggest tragedy, the biggest, uh, what's another word I can use? Travesty? The travesty 
and all of GRFC or Top Tier Tuesday history. Will it really? <laughs> it is. I, I mean, wasn't Fergus Gray his one and only win of his whole entire time here? Yeah, well, he's going to be just like uh, Kano Miller. He, he beat George. He went on to beat Zach Roper. Nice. Don't you love this game? Yeah. <laughs> I love it when it's Sid Bear versus Giant Balls. <laughs> of how eight people would just randomly pick someone. It's like, nah, we're rematching that. Right. All right. Let's yeah. I, yeah, for whatever reason, I... I still cannot see the chat on the second screen, so that sucks. Rip. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have to look at- Oh, hold on! I gotta expand it. Oh, see? That sucks. Yeah, but it only says stream elements on here, so... <laughs> Stand up on your feet! <laughs> For the greatest pro wrestler of all time. Just like you. This is my feast song, baby. Oh, speaking of feast songs, it's the battle of feast songs tonight, baby. It's the shameful thing. Lost your head. Careless man, wind up dead. You wear your say like it's some sort of pride. Too many rhymes, too many rhymes. Whoa, these words are true, and I'll make you believe. Ah, oh, hell yeah. We're, we're getting the greatest match of all time. It's Ferguson Gray quickly starting his dominance with that body slam. But it looks like Iron Manzi has got the new attire. He's got the t-shirt. And he's slightly altered his uh, ring attire. This man's looking good. So what you're saying is he finally paid over $10 for his attire? Hey, I'm just saying. he he. This is the biggest match of his life. He put in the work. <laughs> That's my guy right there. He's my P5. P5. Shucky, ducky, quack, quack. Hey, look at him. He's Attacking the legs. That's that's 200 IQ right there. You attack the legs of the big man. Cause you know what they say. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. I mean, these are both big guys, so. And look at him, he's wearing him out. Pretty hard. I I gotta say, Iron Man's conditioning is amazing. He's gonna wear out Ferguson Gray before Ferguson Gray wears him out. I got, I'm, I'm getting the bets from Vegas. It's all unanimous on Iron Manzi. Win the title. Vegas has spoken. <laughs> I mean, hey, here we go. I'm just voting for Iron Manzi because like, he's only won one match. So at this point, it's uh, just gonna be hook, frog splash, not like this. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, obviously, yeah, he was, he was obviously playing pasta. Oh, Christ. Two, three, yeah, well, this big piece of trash oh probably would be willing to take a cow because he knows that Iron Maisie has got all the momentum on his side. I mean, and look at it. He's in trash, not taking a spot. Is one win momentum? I mean, it was against the champ, but he had, like, Six I mean, look at look at Johnny look at Johnny Wazow of all things. There's another example. He got the win. He teamed with uh, Action Jackson, and now they're the number one contenders. They're facing Station Mortis tonight. They still gotta win the titles, though. It's all about momentum in this business. Uh, ooh, need to the, I guess be small the back. Okay, you know what? I will say, Ferguson Gray, that was a... I guess it was a okay move. Yeah, you get yeah. more credit. He's whooping his ass. Nah, see, this is this is strategy. Iron Man, he's playing the log con. 
I mean, I guess if he rigs his eyes enough, he'll just run to a blind, so... Right, well, that works. There's a, there's a 20 count in this match. And Fergus, oh, there we go. Iron Man is giving him a taste of his own medicine. Tried to go for the forearm. Oh, wait, what? Yeah, he is, uh... Okay, Godbuster, huh? He's getting kind of whooped right now. Yeah, well, this is... This is the difference between good and great wrestlers right here. And this is all part of the game plan. See? He kicks out every time. He gives Ferguson Gray a false sense of hope and going after the legs again. <laughs> Iron Man Z just needs one move, one moment. I mean, yeah, look at the, the track. His shoot name's ironic because he is the same finisher as a certain champ. I mean, that's for true, <laughs> actually. But he he spells it differently. Yeah, he he uses an H. And that's all the hell I'm gonna give y'all. Off the ropes. Oh, Iron Man's encountered. There we go. Wee woo, wee woo. Iron Man's in control now, Yikes. baby. Yeah, we're well, colliding into. <laughs> yeah, it's like a kaleidoscope. <laughs> I, I just wanted to do that one lyric from uh that uh Machine Gun Kelly song. <laughs> Who would have thought that Machine Gun Kelly and Halsey would have the pop punk tune of 2020? Because <laughs> I certainly didn't. That's what they um, nominated? No, I'm just saying, like, out of the pop punk songs I've heard this year, yeah. that's like the best one I've heard. Which isn't saying a lot because I had. Oh! He's there we go! Yeah, that that's actually a good way to like type it up, Mal. I love it. <laughs> Collide, a scope. <laughs> oh, I got the Brock lock. Iron Man's even gonna tap out. He <laughs> he would die before he quits. And there we go, targeting the back. And there we go, Centon. Iron Mansy with momentum on his side. Nah, okay, you know what? You know what? That's a two count on Iron Mansy's first cover. That just shows you that Ferguson Gray was underestimating oh, him. And here we go, Switchblade. That's, that's it. New mid card champion right here. Ah, oh, you piece of trash. <laughs> That's okay, you know what, it took Iron Man Z two of them to beat him last time, so all he's gotta do is just hit another one. And then the big card championship is his. And look at Ferguson oh, and Greg. Oh, yeah, the great conditioning by both of them. <laughs> Go back to the Queens. Oh, you know. Oh, well, I mean, I guess in that regard, this he can't recover. Oh, wait, why are you Off the road. Oh. Boy. <laughs> now that kaleidoscope. Oh, hold on. First and Greg can lose the title this way. He could, but both of them are way too guess to do anything. It's all about who's going to recover first. Knocker. Oh, wait, what the hell? What the oh, hell? Iron Manzi. First and Greg have all that. Iron Manzi able to recover. And look at this piece of trash, he's still getting worn out. This is Iron Maisie's chance! Hey, yeah, but he's... Jeez. Oh, these guys... Oh, hold on! Iron Maisie gonna beat the shit out of him! He's in him in the throat! Iron Maisie's just dazed, though, every time he gets up. Yeah, well... They've got 15 minutes. This is probably the longest match Iron Maisie's had in Top Tier Tuesday. What do you mean? The Sid Baron match is 55 minutes. 
That, that, that was a Texas death match. That is different. I'm talking okay, about singles fine. match. Why I'm should, talking about what's the was L19? I think was I L was 19 minutes. It might have been. And here we go. Iron Maze is gonna stare at the back of him. I handed him I handed him a can of monster and he's fired up. <laughs> he's like, give me this. Well, you know. I'm not sponsored by them, but I'm trying to get sponsored by uh, gamer subs. <laughs> Use code Zach the Vampire for 25% off. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, oh, there we go. Centon. I mean, he's rolling Jeez. momentum. Hey, Burgers and Gray, this piece, piece of trash waiting for Iron Man Z. Oh, oh, what the hell? I don't think I've ever seen that, but that was pretty Eric. effective. Eric! Eric's about to keep that Mikko Championship. Yeah. Eric's fighting for his life. You gonna give the company to Eric? You gonna give the company to Eric? And look at Iron Manzi. Iron Manzi just needs to hit it one more time. And then the title is as good as his. Hey, here we go. We're approaching 19 minutes. Oh, boy. Oh, wait. What the hell? See, this is what Iron Man Z does. He makes you use your best material. Well, he's uh, certainly having a better match than was expected. Yeah, and look at him. Iron Man Z's gonna choke him out. <laughs> he should just give up now. Because Ferguson Gray does not have the fans, the people, or Vegas <laughs> on his side. And now we're 20 minutes in. Yes. See, Iron Banzi is conditioned like a machine. <laughs> Off the ropes. Oh, I thought he was gonna spine butter him into the light tubes. Yeah, I thought so too. All right, wait a minute. Gum Buster. What the? Centaur from the They're top. Yeah, we'll look at He's Iron Manzi. Man <laughs> Iron Manzi taking all the time in the world, all the time in the world to recover. Oh, well, he just got his legs knocked out. <laughs> what the hell? That's a rope break, ref. It's a rope break. I ain't ever seen Ferguson Gray pull all this out. That's probably yeah, and look at it. Look at his piece of trash. He's gassed already. Yeah, cool move, dude. Come on, man. You gotta hit him with a switchblade. Right. Oh, look at that's what he thinks of him. He's got the boxing. <laughs> he's got the boxing crab locked in. <laughs> Iron Man is a technical genius. And look at this freezing gray. Freezing gray, this filthy cheater. Holding in that. <laughs> Iron Man's a scumbag who was nicknamed. He, he held in that leg, in that headlock well past the referee saying the break it. Is this your champ? Yeah. Probably. Is this who you can be proud of? See, look at Iron Manzi, a gentleman of the ring. Sure. Hey, well, Ferguson Gurren was not. Did you see all the Irish she kept doing? Yeah, well, do your best. Two count again. Iron Banzi will not die. Oh, God. Yeah, well, he's so fucking. Oh, God. Yeah, well, that almost killed Ferguson Gray. Because he almost landed headfirst on the apron. That big piece of trash. The white noise on the outside. Oh, look at this idiot. <laughs> See, Iron Man is thinking 10 steps ahead. There Is we go. 
he had that plan the whole time. Ah, gotcha. Off the ropes. Senton. And that's it, that's how he's gonna win it. Yes! Yes! Yes, let's go! Iron Fantasy is the brand new Bitcoin champ. How dare you skip his music, good sir. Well... Oh man, I get a... I got I got a message. <laughs> Actually, no, I'll I'll do the graphic and then send it to him. Oh man, how? Whew, how are we gonna top that? That was that was the moment of this entire <laughs> pay per view. <laughs> I am busy. Fulfilling his dream and becoming the brand new Midcard champ. Finally, a champ we can be proud of. Guess all those high rigs are really um. <laughs> that piece of trash held in the headlock <laughs> well past the ref saying to break it. <laughs> Tip for tat. Speaking of which, speaking of champions we can be proud of, the current tag team champs are about to implode. So people are saying that this is Jackson Victory and Johnny Wazow's match to win tonight. Could we see three new champions tonight? That'd be one hell of um, a record. <laughs> <laughs> it would be like uh, how night champions should go. Where you just kind of hold one up every single championship in one go. <laughs> Dude, that'd be amazing. If that was the gimmick, where, like, Night Champions, they're on the line. It's like, alright, well, time to change these titles. At least change, like, one or two. Like, half the time they don't do anything with it. Uh. <laughs> As you can tell from, uh, my little character, I'm vibing to this song. <laughs> Speaking of vibing... The, the vibe herself, Nettie Rock, the veteran of Top Tier Tuesday, will finally have her shot against the Femme Fatale champion, the Vampire Queen, Carmella Noctum, later tonight. You okay? You okay? Uh, you okay? You okay? You okay? <laughs> yeah. Are you okay, Stitch Amortius? I don't think so. I think you're about to implode. I'm going to say this right now. Stitch and Morty's retain the title. We're doing a Jared Show mashup for their theme. <laughs> well, come on. It's the big, 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 big show. It's going to be amazing. At least give them the good one. <laughs> I know. No one remembers that. They gotta have a theme that's memorable. Oh, God. And Action Jackson already getting inside a head stitch. Going hee hee. I mean, he does up for half the match, anyways. Oh, nice slide through. Nice trip up. Look at look at Action Action <laughs> Jackson. He's a technical wizard, much like the new uh, mid card champ Iron Manzi. Yeah, because them being gas for half the match is really your technical wizardry at this point. I, I call that having a dramatic edge in the match. <laughs> Gotta build up the drama, brother! As they sit around gas for the whole match. Oh, there we go. Double stereo drop kick. As we got knees to the face. I'm surprised there hasn't been more people watching this. <laughs> you get a like, YouTuber, you're supposed to get all the Mac views. I know, right? Like, Monday can do a stream at like 9 p.m. and get eight people in here. Meanwhile, I do it at 8 and I only get two people. This is BS. <laughs> there's obviously. There's obviously favoritism among the brands. <laughs> 
Hey, that's why you got the big draft going. Maybe it'll get some stars, right? Maybe. I, I don't know. I think I think we're stacked when it comes to stars. Top two Tuesday has more main eventers than Monday Night Massacre. That is true. And that's a fact. <laughs> but oh, Monday has on. more tag teams. And that's for true. So you go to Not Tuesdays there. for main eventers, you go to Monday for um, tag teams. Yeah. And watch you gotta, New Japan. You go to Tuesdays for like, me, brand new match types. <laughs> And of course, you know, you come to Tuesdays for the greatness that is Johnny Wazow. And good old Iron Nancy. Ooh, boy. Hell yeah. Mid card champ, baby. <laughs> he earned it. And you, it's on the record book. You'll never be able to take it away from him now. <laughs> His name is in history among such mighty names as Jet Hunter. Ferguson Gray, and now yeah. Iron Manzi joins that list. Did we have one person before Jet Hunter? I feel like we did for that title. N Jet Hunter was the was the first uh, yeah, okay. mid card champ, I believe. I mean, I guess we could look at the title history after the show, <laughs> but I I honestly feel like he was the first. That's the one good thing about this game, it keeps up, uh, pretty much. Yeah. I was speaking of which, uh, we're gonna be introducing a new title after this pay review. I just gotta new title, work out the new name. Tournament too. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, we're gonna be, we're gonna be running, you know what, you wanna talk about New Japan? <laughs> Top Tier Tuesday is about to be New Japan with what we're doing. <laughs> The road to the rope. But Giant was out. He is vicious. <laughs> he smells blood. He can taste the fact that these two teams don't get along. Or these two team members. He's like, yeah, I saw your light tube death match. I know you all are about to uh, burst. <laughs> and look, look Mor Mortius didn't even come to help his partner. I mean, I know they've been successful in the past, but I think tonight their number is up. They're not much like one. that. Much like that Ice Nine Kill song about Scream. <laughs> when your number is up, it's time to scream. <laughs> God, I love that song. You know, I, I was thinking of like a more um, advanced beat the clock challenge. We do a best of three, average up those numbers, and that's who would have the best time. What the hell? <laughs> what? I mean, I guess. It's convoluted. I mean, hey, we Top Tier Tuesday is the same brand that did uh, those working matches, so... We just had a Dotacon inside weapons everywhere. So right. Neat. The thing with Top Tier Tuesday is we're willing to try new matches just to see what this game can and can't do. Half of the shows me testing what the game can't do. Yeah. Much like we're uh, testing this character right now. And uh, from what I've seen, it's gone fine so far. Aw, oh, this piece of trash! Dodge the, super, the Superman punch, are you kidding me? He's <laughs> not feeling super either. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? Since Johnny was out was a vampire, maybe, and uh, this is the spookiest pay review of the year, that's another reason why I got this team winning. <laughs> well, well he there, just kind of <laughs> got his neck taken off, so... You, you know what's cutting me from pulling the trigger of the shotgun in my mouth? <laughs> Come on, Zell, you bum. Get What a match for once. This is your moment. Or not. This is your, this is your moment, kid. <laughs> I already wrote my suicide note. Don't make me sign it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. With that greatest of ease. With such vampiric speed. Stitch had no time to react. Here we go. Action Jackson. 
getting a piece of his. This is teamwork right here, if I ever saw it. And look at Action Jackson. He's so proud of his teammate, he's dancing on the apron. He's getting the crowd fired up. Oh, here we go. Yeah, what, what, what are you doing, ref? Mind, mind your business. There we go, now the crowd clapping along. They're saying, Johnny, 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 Johnny. Climb it up, Chad. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. Oh boy. No, no here we go. He's gonna chuck him out. So what do you think the yeah. celebration's gonna be if they do win it? <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, hold on. What do you want to talk about? What do you think the celebration's gonna be for Rizal and Victory if they win it? <laughs> oh, well. You know what? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> that might this, this might be out like a light. Oh, never mind. I mean, we saw him and George put on the Five Star Classic, so who knows what's gonna keep them out? Nine. One, two, well, sorry about that. I didn't think that far. <laughs> she, she almost got a five count though. Oh God! <laughs> well, he rolled out of the way. Good Lord! <laughs> and Action Jackson landed right on the ladder. <laughs> but look at this piece of trash. He got up first. Stitch is or Morty's is obviously in no condition to continue. <laughs> Rev, you might as well just call it right now. <laughs> this man can't defend himself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Can he got imagine? tossed into a barricade from the <laughs> could, ring. Could you imagine how mad Stitch would be if they lost the title because <laughs> Marius wasn't able to defend it? <laughs> it's gonna be just like Chris Jericho and Edge. It's like Morty's I is just a fucking corpse on the outside of the right? tossed. I'm not reliable for my partner getting hurt. <laughs> I've had to carry this dead weight this whole time. At least they set up the heat on him with that. <laughs> just set up Mortius' face turn, have him win the <laughs> Roar Rumble. <laughs> on this day, I see clearly. Yeah, I'm out of Rigo. Number 95. <laughs> I swear, man, like, I've listened to like, all the different themes. Yeah, and no, 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 nothing beats nothing beats Rob Zombie when it comes to Edge's theme. It's a shame because he didn't have that for long. I think he he had it from like two thousand two, two thousand two to two thousand three. That may be it. Alright, well, time to, time to do the remix. Big, 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 big. Well, to be fair, if... If, uh... If John was out as loyal man, they would have won because he is vampire, maybe. Is that how it is? Actually, Jackson... Or Jackson Victory might have gotten a concussion after that somersault into the ladder. <laughs> I don't think he landed well. I think he pulled with Joey Mercury on that one. <laughs> right. Oh, uh, Christ. I gotta say, this has been a fantastic show. Even if there's no one here. There might be. It's been, a, it's been an amazing show. I'll say that straight out of the gate. What do we got next? Oh, speaking of... So this next man wants vengeance he wants revenge after el vacanto's vicious attack on him for his debut george announced that he would be taking on uh bienvenido the newest member of faceless for his cruiserweight championship George said that he wants to be the Neville of the Cruiserweight division 
and hold it with prestige. Make it something I've talked about. I think Bienvenue is losing this at a landslide. I, uh, yeah. I mean, George beat Shooter Man at Shooter Man Open Challenge to send a message to Faceless. And, uh, George, George looks strong. He's had, he's, he's, he's had an interesting career. He just needs this one victory and his career will propel. And I believe tonight is the night. George wearing the all white, he, white and gold. He says, I'm bringing the gold tonight. So that means an automatic victory anytime you wear those colors. I mean, it, yeah. I mean, in 2016, I believe, all the guys who wore gold in their attire won the title. <laughs> Seth Rollins, The New Day. I mean, Bienvenido only won because of interferences, so... That's for true. I mean, there is a possibility that they could, they could come tonight and help him, but... I mean, I don't think they'd want to save their strength for the main event tonight. I mean, if they come in, everyone else is liable to come in, too. Right, at that point, it's like, fair game. And Bienvenido kicking the gut of George twice, trying to test and see if George really is at 100%. I mean, that match against Shooter Man could have been all show. He could be, he could have an injury that he's trying to hide. And, oh, hold on! That could be, I was gonna say, that'd be the quickest title match of the night. Of the night? I just think, just in the history of of, of of GRFC history. I don't think we're gonna be able to top that one match though from Friday Night Fights. No, that was like three minutes and thirteen seconds, something like that. That was just ridiculous. And oh, George was looking for that poison Rana, or uh, whatever it is that you call it. I think it's a a, a flip destroyer or something like that. But Bienvenido. Yeah, Essex Destroyer. I don't, I don't I, even I, know why that's the name, but, you know. I, I, I call it the way I see it. Right. And hold Quick on. Roll. Quick roll. Yeah. yeah, there we go. He's he's tiring out Bienvenido already. Or maybe he just surprised him. Or Bienvenido's like, oh, wait, what is this guy doing? You gotta, st you gotta stay the tapes, Bien. Ooh. Flipping Centon there. Right into the stomach. It seems like Bienvenido is attacking the stomach of George. Maybe he knows something that we don't. I mean, or maybe he's trying to cause a weak spot. Because max damage critted his neck, so... Yeah, I don't know. I would think that maybe you go after the neck. Because, I mean, that's that seems to be, like, George's, like, Achilles heel is his neck. Yeah, that dude might as well have the neck of Stone Cold at this rate. Or Edge. Yeah, you want to take your pick. It's like it's like these past couple of matches, like George just like out his neck <laughs> for every spot. <laughs> so words the greatest wrestling match ever, right? The, the 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 mind may be willing, the heart may be willing, but that body is an entirely <laughs> different proposition. Oh, ooh, hold on. There he was targeting. I failed to mention that Bienvenido almost had a near fall, and we might see it again. 2.9. Yeah, George has got to got to come up with something. Bienvenido's doing pretty good. Yeah, he's doing pretty good on his own right now. He's definitely improved from his uh first outings in this company. Oh, oh what the? 2.9 again. 2.9. I thought that might have been 3. I mean, at that point, people would probably throw trash in the ring. <laughs> it's like, boo, get this piece of shit out of here. I mean, it's what Faceless wants. So and there we go. Bienvenido targeted the neck. Know how to run to the ropes properly. Yeah, well, you know, that, that mask guy is blocking his eyesight. Yeah, George is a hurt right now. I know that's a rope break ref. 
<laughs> You're not gonna let that shit slide, are you? <laughs> to quote Chris Jericho, make the right decision tonight. <laughs> oh, hold on. Jeez. The NBA had a punch to the dick. That's not legal, Rev. And hold on. George says, I've had enough of this. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cut her from the top rope. And now, this Another is exactly one? what George sees. What? And George says, he's, I'm about to finish it. Destino Cutter. He knows so bad. This mad piece of trash. Oh, well, God, the end. Oh, hold on. Centon. And look at this dude showboating. Why don't, you, why don't you win the match first before you show both? Maybe he doesn't feel like it. He, his confidence is going to be his undoing. Just like Count Dooku. <laughs> you saw what happened to him. I think dude, everyone did. Dude. Oh, here we go. Here comes Johnny Wazow. Who's he helping them? <laughs> That's the question. How do you want to help anyone in this? Hey, wait a minute, he's teaming with George. Johnny was out and said, I got screwed out of my match. I'm not letting you get screwed out either. <laughs> Is that why? I mean, I don't know. I, I uh, maybe, that's pretty fair. Maybe, maybe Johnny was out just has beef with Bienvenido. <laughs> Oh god, we're right in the neck. <laughs> Speaking of necks. Maybe just everyone secretly hates faces. <laughs> everyone hates Bienvenido. <laughs> he's, he's the John Silver of faceless. Damn it, Silver, what? I can't <laughs> even have one good night. <laughs> Ooh, nice, uh, nice suplex there. Now George is feeling it. I'd help even the odds right now. Not the ropes. Ooh! Essex Destroyer, I guess is what it's called. Well, call it whatever you want. I'd call it a, a, a destroyer. Oh, oh. oh, God. Oh, holy shit! Nice reversal! Yes! Got wow. him, coach! That... I don't think I've ever seen that finish a match before. That was <laughs> one hell of a I... That, that was amazing. Like I said, his overconfidence cost him. The, the small package counter from the power bomb. And you gotta imagine, Al Vicanto is furious right now. He's like, you piece of shit, you only have one job. I mean, I guess he did get interfered on, so... Oh, here, speaking of which, you're currently listening to Lazarado by Ghost Main, which is one of the official themes tonight of Ghost of the Past. It's off his new album, Anti Icon, out now. Available on Spotify, iTunes, and wherever you get your music. How do you like that plug, brother? <laughs> Still copyrighted. I'm like I'm the I'm the Michael Cole when it comes to plugging shit. I was like, look, Vince, I've already like plugged this a bunch of times. You really need me to like say this again? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, boss. Plugging it, brother. Speaking of which, uh, Nanny Rocks gets her chance tonight. Is her night. The veteran at Top Tier Tuesday, a woman that's been here since day one, just vibing. She's never, she's never asked for any opportunities, but you know what? She finally earned one, and now she's got the match of the lifetime when she faces the current three-time Femme Fatale champion, the Vampire Queen herself, Carmela Nocta. Like, like I said. Carmela Noctum is going to be a Hall of Famer when she becomes the first ever 10 time Femme Fatale Champ. It's 
gonna be twenty time at this rate. <laughs> so, hold on. I, I, I think I think we should. We should probably let the we should probably let the contestants enter the ring before we speculate who we think is gonna win. Probably. All right, everyone vibing. <laughs> Do your thing. <laughs> Natty Rock just soaking up this moment. Memphis Hell Champion is going to make Natty Rock to wait for her. Carmella knocked him already. Carmella knocked him playing the mind games. And look, Carmella's best friends are referring the bench. Aren't they best friends though? <laughs> they're, they're frenemies. <laughs> Just like, uh, what, what was the frenemy storyline between Paige? Who was she with? Was it AJ Lee? I guess. I, be uh, I, I believe so, yeah. I was, I'm gonna say, since this is the spookiest night of the year, I've got Carmella knocked him. Yeah. She's got, she's got her vampire family in attendance to watch this match. She wants to impress them. And plus, she asserted her dominance. Or Yukina and her last or I actually that wasn't her last. It was her last pay review title defense, but her last title defense was against the newcomer uh Nocturnal Sunrise when she got to choose her opponent for her uh birthday bash <laughs> celebration match. Oh well, she also has the title too. Wait, what? No, in Carmelo, I'm talking about she also lost the title on that match. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Nocturnal Sunrise looked really good for a newcomer. Plus, she had already had a match that same night. So she did incredibly well. Like, there's a reason why both uh, Hell's Harlots and uh, Electronica are, like, keeping an eye on her. <laughs> I mean, or like, they're trying to still needs her shot. Yeah, Electron. Well, I guess we can talk about it now. But uh, I, I've mentioned this before. After this peer review, we are going to be doing a tournament with all the female teams in Top Tier Tuesday to crown the first ever name pending uh, Top Tier Tuesday Women's Tag Team Champions. We're, we're still trying to iron out a name. I'll probably come up with one by the time the tournament ends. Hell in the draft kind of opens up too. 25 spots to right. pick from. Yeah. Unless you just plus, maintain your whole roster. Right. If, uh, well... You just redraft coming, everyone. If, if the coming wins tonight, uh... If the coming wins tonight, well, Faceless is gonna be entered in as free agents. So, I yeah. think there's like two women in that team, too, so... Yeah, and if Faceless, um, wins, they would just be automatic retains, no matter what. Right. You can't put them in and the here top we go. pool. Yeah, Natty rocks, and Carmella knocked him, go duking it out, and Carmella's got the advantage. I believe Natty rocks is already bleeding. <laughs> She's bleeding in the first 30 seconds. Christ. Well, Natty rocks almost won there. Trying to surprise the champ. And wait, hold on. Small package. No. Or I guess that was like. I don't even know what kind of pen that was. Uh, like stack, stack the guess. Yeah. Oh, hold on. No, it's a rope rig. 
see our moon right on top of it. But yeah, we're gonna we are gonna have amazing teams in this uh, tag team tournament, and uh, I might as well just announce it. But uh, after this pay review, normally we have like regular matches and all that stuff, but uh, I figured, you know what? Why not just go full blown New Japan and do a G1 climax? <laughs> That yeah, way, that's gonna be so hard if, to do in this game, but you gotta try. If, if someone, oh, hold on, paid tribute to her husband with the switchblade, the kiss of death, and that's it. That's what she's gonna call it, the kiss of death. Oh, and hold on, wait a minute. She's hitting Queen of the DM after the match. Showing no respect for Natty Rogs. Man, those past two ratings were, um... Oh. I mean, Carmella knocked into the dominant champ. What do you want from her? Dominant? She's... <laughs> she's won the title, what, five times? So she's had to lose it five times. Hey, you can't be a five-time champ without losing at least four times. <laughs> you could say Zach's the biggest loser when he was the two-time heavyweight champion of a different company, even though he lost once. But you know what? He still made history, so there's that. Unless, you know, their history book scrubbed that out just like, uh, a certain... My... <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, speaking of champions, we can see a new champ tonight when El Bacanto beat... Uh, Victor Vent Hill in quite the controversial fashion to earn the number one contendership spot. Speaking of which, in the G1 Climax, if someone pins Zag in the tournament, they could technically be the number one contender. So, this tournament is going to open up a lot of possibilities. There'll be new rivalries, new title opportunities. It's gonna be amazing. Everything's gonna be all over the place. Everything is awesome. <laughs> Everything is cool when you're living the dream. <laughs> yeah, so what attires are we doing? You'll see. Well, it looks like El Bacanto is going to be walking through Hellfire and Brimstone tonight. I guess he's saving his Asala Timbale powers for after this match. I've never seen a more focused looking individual in my life stepping into a title match much like this man. Is cool, calm, and collected. I'm ready to and the champ is Megan Albacanto. Wait, Zach says you're not the only one that can play mind games. <laughs> It's out of love. Are you sure? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a friendly fuck you. Not, not a harsh one, a friendly one. <laughs> so, now that these two finally are getting their hands on each other, who does this match favor? <laughs> Experience edge definitely goes to Zag, but yeah, power advantage goes to El Canto. So, and as we've seen in the past, Zag doesn't really do well with yeah. uh, power type guys. So yeah, that's gonna be something to look out for. Because I mean, Zag is like he's carved a path of warriors in his like title run, much like uh, much like Dahano X. 
Zach's been holding down Top Tier Tuesday since he's won the title. But you know, Mar Mar Rivers, we can't take away the fact that he was the first ever Top Tier Heavyweight Champion, but... I mean, after that triple threat steel cage match, Zach has just been holding on to that Heavyweight Championship like Gom's precious. <laughs> Is precious. My precious. Yes. Oh, ooh. Jeez, landing next answer. first. Damn, Zach's showing his power game in this match. And here we go, the rapid chops in the corner. He's going to hurt so early. Yeah, Zach. Oh, nice dodge. I mean, it's obvious that El Vicante was like studying the tapes. When it comes to Zach, but yeah, Zach normally has a. He's been having a methodical defensive style. We'll see if Zach. He might have to get a little aggressive for this match. Especially, like, if I was Zach, I'd try to put away El Bacanta early. That way, you know, you can go into the main event, the Survivor Series style match, like, as fresh as possible. <laughs> I mean, unless he has someone else do it for him at that rate, right? he does have enough coven members. Right. I mean, you know, Alva Kanto and Zach could probably decide to go last for their team, but... That too, even. Yeah. Uh, but, ooh! Five minutes gone. Zach just using his entire body weight to knock uh, Alva Kanto down that time, but Alva Kanto right back on the attack. I think Al Vicanto is hoping to do the same thing he did to George, to Zach. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'm, I, I, I'd have to believe that Al Vicanto is seriously pissed off after what happened with uh, Bienvenido. Yeah, it's like, like, he's just, he's, help. I mean, it's a he's, Cruiserweight he's, title, so at the very least it's a main title. Yeah. It was, if it was the mid-card title, he would kill. Bienvenido. <laughs> Bienvenido would have been on his shuttle already. Right. He'd look like, uh... Uh, El Vicante would push him down the stairs, just like Wade Barrett did to <laughs> Randy Orton. Or, uh, when Brock Lesnar did it to, uh, Zach Goen. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, AKA I... A.K.A. Pogo. Oh yeah, I did, I did not forget about that. <laughs> yeah, no one will. That was like one of the most memorable things they've ever done. That and when Brock Lesnar just beat the shit out of him in front of his mom. Yeah. Like, they got him over as a heel by the <laughs> Oh yeah. The Solo Monster said this, and I can't argue with him, but Brock Lesnar has had like the greatest like first year run of anyone in WWE. Yeah, he definitely did. Like, no... Him and Angle, probably. Oh, hold on. Surprise oh, roll. No, 2.9. Zach barely kicking out in time. But yeah, Snap suplex. I think him and Angle are probably contenders, because I think Angle oh, won yeah. the title in, what, like, six fucking months? Something like that? Yeah. Sling bleed there. Hey, he sets it up. Yep, yeah, here we go. He's looking to end it. The switchblade. Says just breathe, and that's it. Zach Rover, and I he's gonna beat the shit out of him. Have have an advantage in the next match. Seventy nine percent. All it took was just one switchblade. So eat your heart out, Orton. Faceless, you better figure out a way to win the main event, or they're just gonna be. I mean, useless. yeah. If 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 Zach, I mean, cool. Zach Roper won the title, but this main event is seriously gonna affect yeah, Top Tier Tuesday as a whole. Because if Zach Roper loses, he may be the champ, but he won't be the GM anymore. He could be forced Let me... to vacate it, technically. Yeah, given given who the replacement is. So let me. While you're setting this up, let me read the stipulations to this match. If the Coven loses... If the Coven loses tonight, 
Zach Roper will have to step down as active general manager of Top Tier Tuesday, and he will be replaced by Abigail Rossi. When Zach asked El Vicante why he did that, it's like, why don't you just be the GM? Uh, El Vicante was like, man, you're not thinking. Edgar Rossi is a tool. You just say the right things, and he'll do whatever you want. So if Faceless loses, every member except for El Vicante and Bienvenido will be entered into the draft as free agents. Zach, let me let me see if I can quote what Zach said. He re okay, yeah. He said on October 28th, what you tried to do last night was cute faceless. I'll give you that. Emo Boy is currently being attended to after his match with his tag team partner, Kaiju. The more I thought about it, the more I realized that my previous stipulation gave you an easy out. Him talking about firing faceless, of course. Uh, so my lawyer has revised the contract to replace the old stipulation with this new one. If Faceless loses, all the members of Faceless, excluding Bienvenido and you, El Vicanto, will become free agents with no pay. As far as what happens to both the you and Benito, well, let's just say you'll both wish you were fired. So here we go. Here's the uh, here's the team right here. Dealer Reality. Emo Boy, Kaiju, and Zach Roper captaining the team. And Faceless 1, 3, and 4 with El Vicanto. So yeah, it looks like both Zach Roper and El Vicanto decided they're going to go last. It's all going to come down on them. <laughs> the entire fate of Top Tier Tuesday rests on their hands. I mean, we could see a held harlots situation where there's a clean sweep. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, Elva Condor just lost really quickly. Yeah. Or, you know what? This could all be part of Elva Condor's plan. Get, get Zach thinking, like, oh, yeah, we got this. Oh, holy hell, okay. Well... <laughs> Unfortunately, you guys won't know the special coven theme unless they win. <laughs> but uh, I, yeah, I had no idea that we were doing this. So <laughs> what? So this is what a barred wire board Survivor Series match. <laughs> yep. Oh boy. Well, might as well go all out for this. You got me crazy for the little Jimmy's. Yeah. Who? Who is this scrub refereeing the match? We can't. Have some random jabron with the fate of this company in his hands. <laughs> what do you mean, generic shoes? And, uh. Dealer Reality trying to make quick work of this. Get one point for uh, the Coven, or one elimination, I should say. So, given everything that we've talked about, everything that we know about these teams, who do you give the advantage to? Yeah, I give it to the cover. I, you know what? I would try to play devil's advocate and contradict you, but well, let's just face it. When it comes to big matches, so far Faces has just not been able to get it done. They couldn't beat Supreme with the uh. What was it called? The uh, Deadly Allegiance match? Nope. They couldn't do that. Uh, was there another big match that they had? I mean, or was that Bienvenido and Other Condo both just lost, which are huge matches yeah. right now. Yeah, so they both lost. Like, momentum is fully in the Coven's what? favor. Oh, hold on! That was the quickest pin I've ever seen. In the style of match. Uh. Well, um. Yeah, I, I think my VTuber face says it all. Uh. <laughs> Weird. 
Well, <laughs> I guess fuck everything I just said. Yeah, this also is probably not gonna help uh, Emo Boy because he usually likes to go to the top rope. He can't in this match. No, he can't. I feel like Faceless, after they saw Zach's re revised contract, lobbied for this match. This match definitely seems to help them, where they're not really all that... Like, Alba Canto and Bienvenido are the only guys they have that fly. Yeah. I mean, Zach does a little flying too, but not as much. I mean, the problem is, Alba Canto's finisher is on the top rope himself, so... True. This Ooh. also doesn't really help him. Knees to the rope. Emo Boy here gonna try to... This is what he specializes in. He grounds the big guys. But he might have hurt him. Oh my god. They're playing just like the coming normally, dude. Yeah, just like held harlots. And I believe Emo Boy is already bleeding. <laughs> Unless that's just my screen messing up. Yeah, he is. Oh, here he is. Oh, hold on. Ooh! Oh, nice man. move. Looked like a, a back flapjack, or... I have no idea what that move is, actually. Well, all I know is that that was a flying larynx. Ooh, shoulder tackle. Yeah, Aimo Boy has got to quickly eliminate this guy. So that... Oh, well, he's up now. Oh, God. Stay down. One, two, three. There he goes. There we go. Aimo Boy tying it up for the team. I'm surprised that Dealer Reality got eliminated that quickly. I think that took the wins out of uh, out of the Coven Sale for a little bit. Yeah. And the Emo Boy quickly came in and was like, wait, 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 hold on, let me let me even this out. He's gonna pull this oh, up. He he's gotta be just like uh Harry Powers for uh Gen X or what was his name? I think it was uh, well, two people. Wait, I'm talking about the Coven versus, uh, versus, uh, Gen X match. Oh, um, that's Mike Justice. Mike Justice. Why I call him Harry Powers? What the hell? Yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm being weird, guys. I saw the temple. Ah, saw the Well, you know, the... We, unfortunately, our, our feed... Our feed didn't nope. catch it, but uh, when they were making their entrances, uh, the crowd was chanting it when uh, Alvacanto made his entrance with the team. And here we go, Dealer Reality. He said, you know what, I got eliminated, but I'm going to help out my team. Yeah. Any, any way I can. Yeah, Dealer, uh, your boy now can like deal as much damage as he can and pretty much do whatever he wants while the referee is distracted. If you like, boy can give the Covenant an advantage right now, that would really help. Yeah, exactly. Like, at this point, Dealer Reality of Game Plan is just trying to give his team a chance. I mean, let's... No, oh, hold on. They're all on the ropes, jeez. Oh, God! Using the ladder... Like, like it weighs nothing. He used the ladder like it was a steel chair. Right, right against the road. Oh god! Power slam. And just a, a kick to the side, a kick to the gut, kick to the kidney. Oh, went for the European uppercut. I don't know. Boy dodged it. I feel like that was a mistimed interruption by basis. Yeah, because I mean, normally with this kind of stuff, the Coven. Like, the Coven's team for a while, they know each other very well. They know their own strengths and weaknesses. So they're able to, like, form a game plan. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God! That was a... That was a, a vicious-looking... Uh... Tiger suplex. <laughs> and you boys get fired up! Normally, he'd go to the top, but... He, he looked yeah, at the, uh... He looked at the top rope, and he was like, Oh, fuck, I can't do that. <laughs> Off the oh ropes. God. There we go. Lands the European uppercut that time. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Doing that that move again. You go for his finisher again? No. Kick combo. 
Yeah. Ah, oh, low blow. <laughs> the the ref is can't even be bothered to <laughs> admonish him. He's like, all right, whatever. It's a barbarian death match. I don't think they care. Yeah. He's like, you know what, guys? Just go nuts. <laughs> just, just kill each other. Oh, there he goes. Oh, there we go. Faces interfere. No, they will not. A Jericho pin. Emo Boy is MVP in them right now. Yeah, Emo Boy's gotten two straight eliminations back to back so far. Zach Roper might not even need to be in this match. And here we go. Emo Boy said, You want to use the ladder? I'll use the two. Kaiju, Kaiju encouraging Emo Boy right now. Off the ropes. Ooh! Look to the gut. Space's that, uh, member just needs to go for his finisher, and I think that would do it. Yeah. Emo Boy's been there for a long time. Yeah, this is the main event. The entirety of Top Tier Tuesday rests on one of these two teams. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he tapped into it. Damn. Kaiju quickly coming in. I mean, I get. I mean, it makes sense that Evil Boy got eliminated that quickly. Because, remember, Kaiju critical of him on Tuesday. Yep. Yeah. I mean, he might still be feeling the effects. And I mean, he's been in for a while anyways. The fact that he even got yeah. two people out is crazy enough. That, that is just incredible on itself. Here comes the, uh, to hold on. Come on, bring it. Yeah. <laughs> Zach Ripper trying to trying to fire up Kaiju. <laughs> I mean, Zach Ripper knows that Kaiju is a tough bastard. It's gonna take a lot for him to get eliminated. I mean, Kaiju is currently leading the B block of the OWA Grand Prix, so he knows what. It's that could be it. Yeah, I don't people. believe it's. I don't believe there's rope race in this match, is there? I think there is. Uh, I don't remember. Well, that might be the only thing that'll save you with that type of hold. You got two choices. <laughs> T tap or snap. <laughs> I mean, you could slide under the ring, I guess. There are ropes there. Nah, nah, you only got two options. Tap or snap. <laughs> I'm a Kai, Kaiju lining him up. It looked like he was going to try to go for a corner move, but quickly realized, no, that's not going to happen. Oh, oh God, Papa Powerbomb. Oh, that's unfortunate for him. That, that very well could have been an elimination right there. That was good time on Faces, this part. Yeah, finally got the timing down on that. Ooh, MX. For whatever reason, the game calls it that. <laughs> I'm going to call it the... Code Breaker! The one from the top rope is MX. That one's actually called Double Knee Chin Crusher. So that Jesus. one's what it's supposed to be. Jesus Christ, game. Just call it the Code Breaker. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. CTE City. <laughs> the DV DDT. <laughs> oh, hold oh, on. Is. Nice! Nice by the captain of the team right there. They started in the ref that way. Yeah. Zach pretty much keeping his partner alive. And now Kaiju can do whatever he wants. Hey, wait a minute. Oh god! A headache! Pretty, pretty much just mocking Zach for that move. And there's no count ads. No count ads, no nothing. And wait a minute. Oh, but oh god, Zach got a shot! Zach got a shot to him. And there we go. They can weaken that faces member to get him out of here faster. This is this is brilliant strategy right here. That headache just cost Faceless. Oh god, DV DVT on the outside though. I mean, that could just hit a curb stomp, and that, that's the end. That's it. Okay, you went back in there. 
Yeah. Oh, now he's back up. Yeah, they're, they're, they're like, we gotta wear this dude out as, as much as possible. <laughs> I don't think the top of though, he's getting hurt himself by Wendy until the landmines. Yeah, well, you know what? Maybe Kaiju is a sick, twisted bastard that gets <laughs> off on it. Maybe. That's, that's what you need on this team. And... Dealer just standing there, menacingly. <laughs> Oh! A uh, kick to the shin there, or the kneecap. Bring, it. Bring it to the eyes. All legal. It's as legal as a headlock, as Jara would say. Oh boy. <laughs> and both guys are down, but there's no count. Yeah, we're just like this. Can't have any ties. Wait a minute, it looks like Kaiju was- Oh my oh god! god. <laughs> sent him to the outside again. They are right in front of his tag team partner too. Oh. Kaiju is bleeding like a stuffed pig! Yeah, I don't think he cares either. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> he is just- Kaiju is just bleeding out. And here we go, now- they're all circling him like a pack of wolves. <laughs> El Vicante trying to encourage his teammates. And that, just that brief chop, and there we go, he's gonna break his neck on the outside. <laughs> That'd be one way, dude. I mean, Griff has to call it if he can't get back in the ring. Yeah. And look, Dealer Reality was moshing out there. <laughs> Can bring him in the hard way. <laughs> oh my god, his neck is done. <laughs> I think both of them are nearly done at this point. Yeah. Just Kaiju's on gonna. They're done. Kaiju's gonna just got. He's gotta hit CTE special and then he's eliminated. You dumbass. There is the the ring mat is just caked in blood. Yeah. Really is. Oh, hold on. Yeah, this is it. Oh, he's down. Are you gonna be able to get up? Oh, he somehow found a way. <laughs> oh god, in the ring this time. One, two. Oh, he it. I, you know what? Oh god. <laughs> That that might be it right there. Oh! And Zach this saving his teammate. He knew Kaiju was gonna get eliminated. It's a long way to run for a move. Oh, and there went Kaiju's in that too. Jeez. And look at this dude pacing around like you Brock Lesnar. I think he is under a mask at this point. Right. We don't even know who's Wait. under it. Oh god, well, the same move as Emo Boy! And he's gonna break his neck! Oh. Well. <laughs> Both teams are really working for teammates right now. I just said, right, I'm gonna hit eventually. <laughs> and whoever gets pinned out of this basically wins the match for the team. Pretty much. Oh god, well... Well... I, I don't think he can see... I don't think he can see you, ref. <laughs> you might want to go in. He can't even put his... Cheat for the coven. He can't even put his hands on <laughs> Oh, there we go. Okay. I mean, no, I, I genuinely didn't think he was going to be able to continue. <laughs> that's why That's why I said that. Since when do you care about the well-being of a person? No, yeah, well, it's because it's fucked up. <laughs> exactly. Oh, boy. Oh, God. How is Kaiju going to do this? <laughs> oh, God! 
Yep. That, and he's done. And in case that wasn't the finish. Yeah, he's dead. This is. Two, three. And here comes El Bacato, the final member of Team Faceless. He's gonna quit, get a, a quick elimination. No. Oh, no. Not yet. If Kaiju gets eliminated, it's down to Zack and El Bacanto. And Kaiju is bleeding like crazy. El Bacanto is fresh in the match. And there we go. El Bacanto is like, all right, you boys go after him now. Oh, God. This could be this could be the turning point of the match right here. I mean, if Kaiju can even land one punch on El Bacanto in this season, then it would be something. It. Zack is just pleading with Kaiju. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Kaiju doesn't even know. Him. Kaiju doesn't even know where he's at. Yeah, he took too many blows to the head. Oh god. There we go, now Kaiju rolling in. We got the light tubes in the ring. Uh, hold on. Point. Not even a one count. At this point, if Kaiju can't eliminate Alpha Khan, he's gonna try to put in as much damage for Zag as possible. Oh god, spinning Lariat. Zag keeping his teammate alive. Ooh! And Kaiju didn't even go for a cover. He saw Zack talking to the ref. <laughs> Ooh, nice, uh, nice snap suplex yeah. there. Ah, uh, well. I don't think it's the time to dance. Now, 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 El Vicanto says, I'm dancing over his corpse. <laughs> the coven dies. <laughs> They're gonna just do that. They're, they're gonna do the casket meme on the uh, on the coven. Oh, he's gonna break his neck. Hey, he's gonna break the neck of El Vicanto, the leader of Faceless. A nice dragon screw there. We have gone almost 40 minutes in this match. Hey, wait a minute. Nice stalling suplex there. And he's he... dancing. <laughs> this more needs to just pin. Well, that might be it right there. Two coming. No. I guess Zach Zach was about to jump in, but he was like, "Well, since I'm up here, I might as well distract the ref." <laughs> in case he goes for another pair or something. Right. I I gotta say, I've said this before. Kaiju is a tough bastard, but this is like otherworldly resilience right here. You could say it's almost supernatural. He's been thrown into a lot of things right now. There we go. I got, I got my wink in. Oh, I'll show you. The last of the dragon. One. Two. Come to 20. No one's there, though. Does he go for it again? He, he's gonna, he, like I said, he's gonna deal as much damage as possible. Oh god! <laughs> Albacanto is, he he was dazed for a minute there. Ah, oh, I saw my oh, double A. Like, oh god! god. Come on, bring it. Did the Rainy Orton RKO <laughs> celebration? <laughs> He should have pen though. Yeah, well, do your best. Oh god! Canadian destroyer, I guess what was that, a Essex destroyer? Yeah, technically. Whatever the hell the game wants to decide it is every game that. Oh, so, the quote could oh. Two, three. And here we go, it's down to the final two men. Oh! Wait a minute, Zack's stealing his move! And that's it right there. 
Oh, never mind. He says, oh, nah. Nah, I wanna, I wanna make this last. But no, never mind. He's like, nope. I'm gonna need your piece of trash finisher to end this match. He said, just breathe one more time. But his teammate was, his teammate saw that match. They're like, nah, yeah. he's not kicking out. He can't take that pressure again. It's down to the two captains. It's down to Zack Roper and El Vacanto. The entire face of Top Tier Tuesday comes down to this final elimination. Zack Roper is gonna stomp it out with that curb stomp. His neck is done. Let's go. They're good in this world. Oh man, the team, the team team didn't play. What the hell? You know what? Fuck it. I'm playing it on my <laughs> on my speaker. <laughs> Cause y'all gotta y'all gotta hear it as a celebration. And you know we didn't even hear the other theme. That is that scuff that we didn't hear. Uh, somebody told me. Maybe we'll hear it when we back out of this. Oh, hold on. I was playing. I was playing Twitch there. <laughs> my, my B. My B. You know what? Here we go. Here's the comment celebration. And this whole thing is probably going to get silent. So well, I will say the coven celebrating in the ring, the confetti in the ring. As cobwebs by motion of some white plays, they've done it. They vanquished the evil that is faceless. And now, because of that, Alba Conte and Bienvenido will stay in Top Tier Tuesday, but the rest of Faceless are now free agents. Another win for the good guys. I. Do you have anything else? to say, co-host, as we end this pay-per-view. Faceless are a bunch of bums. Well, I've been your commentator, Zeg the Vampire. I've been joined by the man, the myth, the jobber, Dead Shadow. This has been Top Tier Tuesday's Go to the Past, the spookiest pay-per-view of the year, and we are wishing you good night. <laughs> <laughs>